What is up you lovely lot and welcome back to the channel and a new video on the Ducati Multistrada 1260S. Today we are going to talk about throttle spacers. This is a well-known issue on the Ducatis and on a lot of Triumphs as well and probably a lot of other bikes that I can't remember off the top of my head but it is effectively the slack you get on your throttle there. It's not a lot but it's enough to make going through traffic slowly a little bit of a chore. It can kind of snatch at you slightly when you're just pulling the throttle back especially in sports mode on a powerful motorcycle like this. So today we are going to try to fix this once and for all. We've been sent out some spacers by a company called Ducati Spacers, a lovely bunch of guys there from the USA. Decided to go with them because they have designed these specifically for the Ducati Multistrada 1260S and I didn't want to get some cheap Chinese ones that probably don't fit and are a complete waste of time. These might be a little bit more expensive but you know they're going to fit and you know they're going to work. So with that in mind we're going to unbox them, have a little look, see what you get in the box and then we are going to start fitting the spacer to find out exactly what it's all about how you do it shouldn't take long so if you're interested in that stick around we'll get into it So there wasn't very much to unpack, if I'm honest, guys. It came in a bubble-wrapped envelope, and this is pretty much all you get. Bear in mind, of course, this is just a spacer. That's all it does. There's no fancy frills with this. It just does what it says on the tin. It alleviates that kind of hesitation, that snatchiness on the throttle in sports mode or in traffic, which you often get on Ducatis, and apparently you get it on the Triumphs as well. Apparently there are kits available for the T120, the T120 Black, the Speed Twin, stuff like that, because they suffer from the same thing. There are videos available for that, but today we are going to talk about the Ducati Multistrada, of course. And as I said, we're going to fit this to our 1260S. I decided to get these from America. There's no import duty because it's under 130 quid, but I know these guys, they have actually done all their research and they've designed this to fit the Multistrada 100%. They even give you the security Torx bit there, which you will need, because when you take the housing off, the switch gear, as it were, you have two Phillips screws, from what I remember, and two security screws. So if you didn't have one of these, you don't have to go and buy a set of these just to do that. They give you one there and they give you the space you know the space is going to work one million percent and they also give you these instructions as well here which are very very concise it could not be easier as you can see there so I decided to go for the best I could find I really have learned my lesson when it comes to buying cheap stuff yes you can buy these for 10 quid off eBay you won't get the security bit it might not fit it's probably for the 1200 not the 1260 etc 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 I've learned my lesson so now I get the best I can get and these guys are the best at these that I have found online anyway. So they've sent these out. We are going to test them. We're going to fit them in a minute. So we'll pop out to the bike. I'll show you exactly how to take the housing off. It's all outlined here in these pictures really, really, really concisely. And we're going to show you on video how to do it as well. Then we're going to go out for a ride and I will tell you whether I think it's worth doing, if it's made any difference to the ride of the bike and whether I suggest you get some. So let's get back out to the bike. I'll get this fitted and we will then, as I said, take it out for a ride and I'll tell you in a real world situation, is it worth it? Should you get some? Let's go. So I'm hoping you guys could see how easy that was. It was literally two bolts. I thought it was actually two Phillips screws and the two torques, but it seems it's not. It's just the two torques. And that there is where I believe the little red spacer goes. So we'll grab that, we'll pop it on, and uh, we'll see how it works. And that's in. Guys, that's as simple as it is. You literally just push it in and then we'll put it all back together and see if it has actually taken up this slack. As is always the way during one of these jobs, it starts pissing down with rain, as you can see. But we still managed to do it. Now, one thing I will quickly show you is this little part here. When it comes out, if you look there, there's a little hole there. That's a kind of a guide hole. So if this doesn't click back in the way it should do, if there's a bit of a space and you're not sure why, just make sure that you've got that lined up with that little pin right there. That's the mistake I just made. I couldn't work out why it wasn't fitting back together the way it should do. That's it, basically. It's as simple as that. You take two screws out, you pop in the spacer, you put it all back together, making sure that the pivot pin is right into the hole it should be, do it back up, and then we will see how it works. Well, that has got to be the easiest job I've ever done on a motorcycle. As you can see, it's all back together the way it should be. Now, did it get rid of that slack? Wow. Yeah, look at that. 
I'm moving it as I was before. No more slack there at all. That is rock solid tight. So yeah, that's it. That is the Ducati Spaces from the company coincidentally called Ducati Spaces. So you can't really get it wrong, can you? As I said, they do come out of America. They're about 30 quid, I think, for this one spacer here. Sometimes they do them in a set of two as well, depending on your bike, as in it might need one up here and one down here. For the Multistrada 1260S, you just need the one and it's two screws, which they supply you the torque security bit for as well. And it took less than five minutes. That is the simplest job I have ever done. But does it work? Let's jump on the bike, go for a little ride, and I will tell you my honest opinion on whether it's actually made any difference to the slow speed running and the snatchiness of the throttle in, uh, in sports mode and stuff like that. All right, let's jump on. So, back on the bike, guys. What is it like now with this little space sofa we got from Ducati Spaces? It's literally night and day, guys, I have to say. You wouldn't think that a small piece of rubber plastic would make such an incredible difference, but it really, really does. I'll show you what I mean in traffic in a second. It's going to be little situations like this effectively where this thing is really really coming into its own you know when you want to just pull away ever so slightly there would normally be a little delay obviously with the slack on the throttle that is now negated because it is as you saw as tight as well i won't go into details but it's very very tight and it's exactly what you want really especially from a big italian v twin like this there's nothing quite as bad as trying to pull around in traffic on a big old Ducati. it has to be said i've done it many times and it's not much fun they're not built for really being in traffic but this does make it a hell of a lot easier it costs around about 25 quid i think and you saw how easy it was to fit absolute simplicity itself it took less than five minutes and yeah, I've got to say, I'm really impressed with that. You wouldn't think that a £30 piece of rubber would make such a vast difference to your riding pleasure, but it really, really does. I would suggest you get one. You saw how easy it was to put it on there, but as I also said, I wouldn't get one of those cheap Chinese ones you find on eBay. Get the best you can afford. If you're going to buy yourself a beautiful Ducati, look after it. Anyway, I hope that's been of some interest to you guys. I'll stick a link in the description for the Ducati Spacers website. If you've got any questions, then obviously just drop those in the comment section below. And as I said, I hope it's been of some interest. If you haven't subscribed, then please consider doing that. If you like this kind of content, we try to get a video out every week. And we've got uh, some more mods coming on this big old Ducati Multistrada, which we'll talk about obviously in the future. Plus some more videos on the campervan conversion that we've been doing on the Volkswagen T5 and some other cars and bikes. Look back through the catalogue. Anyway, that is it for this one. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and we'll catch up in a couple of weeks. All right, guys, thanks for watching. As I said, I hope it helped. Take care now.